CT scanning you'll want to use when you have things that are very difficult to get in any other method. Uh, laser scanning, structured light scanning, uh, hard CMM programming, uh, probing are very good and they're very useful. However, they have limitations. Everything ha every type of um, method has a limitation. One of the limitations that you get from laser scanning is a line of sight restriction. Lasers and other types of data collection using optical methods always have a light source and then some type of camera or imager to, to pick up that image. If you have something coming in between those two things, then you'll have a line of sight restriction and you won't be able to see it, so you'll have no data in that area. CT scanning, and more importantly industrial CT scanning, doesn't have that restriction. It uses x-rays to penetrate the part and then through many uh, series, a large series of x-rays, more than 3,000 most times, you get a nice digital image of what the part is and you can create models from that. The other thing which is really helpful for CT scanning is looking at the internal of parts. With a laser scan or a visual light type scanning, what you have to do is you have to slice the part in multiple pieces, then take individual scans, then re-slice them together. CT scanning is not that way. Again, it shoots x-rays through the part. I can see all of the pores, defects inside of the parts without having to cut it apart. So you don't end up destroying the defect that you're really trying to improve upon. This is really important for assemblies. If you have an assembly and you've crimped this assembly together, it has O-rings in it, it has other structures, what you want to be able to do is see and understand that, that uh, system in its compressed state. Uh, what's typically done is to cut that part apart or disassemble it, but then you lose what's really happening in that assembled state. With CT scanning, you don't need to do that. And in fact, what I can even do is I can remove all of the parts except for the one I'm really interested in, an O-ring, for example, and I can see how the compression looks all the way around that gasket or O-ring, and then I can uh, make intelligent decisions about how to change my product or design. If I were to take that apart, I would lose all of that information. The other thing that is very beneficial with CT scanning is that the smaller the part, the greater magnification I can get and then the greater accuracy and resolution that I can get. Lasers, structured light scanning, scanners are pretty much uh, uh, set to what they give you as far as resolution and accuracy. But because I can use the magnification principle within CT scanning, I can get a lot better resolution and accuracy the smaller part size I can go. I can in fact even get submicron accuracy in some cases for small parts. This is absolutely wonderful and something you cannot replicate with lasers or structured light easily. Uh, now maybe there are some structured light systems that will have a lens volume that's very tiny that will give you uh, higher, better resolutions, but then you've got an extra set of equipment that you can't really use for anything else. Whereas the CT, industrial CT equipment, you can use for many multiple things and you have that flexibility.